On the menu today is chicken enchiladas. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys. Let's get started. The first process is to shred the meat on this Cornish hen. I've roasted this hen in the oven for an hour and 30 minutes. He's juicy, tender, and falling off the bone. I'm going to remove the skin and shred the meat until it's all shredded. As you can see, I have some leftover chicken from the day before that I have already shredded and placed in this bowl. In this bowl, I have one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm gonna pour in a little bit of water, mix it around, and place it to the side for later. The main ingredients in my dish are enchilada sauce, cilantro, seedless tomatoes, garlic, chopped garlic of course, chopped onions, flour tortillas, meat, and Mexican style cheese. Now I'm going to dice up my seedless Roma tomatoes. Once I finish dicing them up, I'm going to place them back in the bowl and move them to the side for later. In my cast iron skillet, I've poured in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Let your oil and skillet get hot, then add in your garlic and chopped onions. Over a medium high heat, saute your onions and garlic for about five minutes. Give it a quick stir, then add in your tomatoes and let them saute until they're done. You can add your dry spices in while your vegetables are sauteing or you can add them in with your enchilada sauce. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of accent and a half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to combine well and then remove my vegetables, clean my pan, and prepare for the next ingredient. Cleaned out my cast iron skillet and now I'm going to pour in 28 ounces of enchilada sauce. I'm going to let it get warm and also I'm going to pour in my cornstarch and water mixture. The cornstarch is supposed to thicken up the enchilada sauce. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to stir it around with my spoon, place it to the side so it can cool down. In my aluminum pan, I'm going to pour in four tablespoons of enchilada sauce. I'm going to make sure that it covers the bottom of my pan before I start putting in my enchiladas. flour tortilla, I'm going to cover it in enchilada sauce. 
Then add in my shredded chicken along with my sauteed vegetables and shredded cheese. I'ma roll the tortilla over and make sure none of my filling comes out and then I'ma place it in the pan. I'm gonna repeat these same steps until this aluminum container is full. At this time, preheat your oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure your oven is warm before you place in your enchiladas. Once your container is full, add in the rest of the enchilada sauce. You can pour it directly on top of your enchiladas. Make sure your enchiladas have enough sauce so they won't be dry when you take them out of the oven. Now that I've added all my enchilada sauce, I'm going to go ahead and spread my Mexican style shredded cheese on top of my enchiladas. I had to add in one more enchilada because for some reason my pan just wasn't looking right. I had two gaping holes on the edge of my pan so I had to slide one enchilada to the side and try to fit in another one and then covered it with cheese and now it looks complete. At this time I'm going to go ahead and place my enchiladas in the oven for about 15 minutes. I'm going to wait for the cheese to melt and then take my enchiladas out of the oven. Now my enchiladas are done and I have taken them out of my oven. Here's the end results. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.